This is something that I just learned about literally this past summer, and I thought I would share it with you. So here is an economical option that you could do by configuring an AirPod Pro as hearing aids and then pair that with a Bluetooth adapter, Bluetooth adapter to your TV for TV listening. And if I were in practice today, this wasn't available when I was practicing and I left two and a half years ago. But if I were in practice today and I was with a patient and I was telling the patient of all this great technology and I was just getting this feeling that this patient was reluctant because they simply couldn't afford it, I would go ahead and tell them what I'm about to tell you. You could go to a store, an Apple store online, buy a bilateral pair of AirPod Pro 2, configure them as hearing aids, and then pair it with a Bluetooth adapter that will cost you $78. And this is what this is all about. So again, using myself as an example, I have a mild to moderate bilateral hearing loss. Again, I have four pairs of devices and I have four listening devices. Without my hearing aids, I had still had considerable difficulty hearing the TV. Aided performance with my hearing aids was significantly better than unaided with my TV, but not as good as I desired. With a TV streamer, those four that I showed you a few moments ago, it was, I didn't strain at all, and all, and, and the TV was still on for my wife and, and my grandkids, and it was just me and listening to the, through the TV. So out of curiosity, I wanted to know if I could achieve equal amount of TV listening with less expensive technology as I was investing OTC for another presentation. I've done, this is my fourth one. So a long story short, I purchased a pair of AirPod Pro 2 for $180. I completed the free mini test app, which I'll share with you in a few moments. You download it on your phone and you take the hearing test through your AirPod Pro. And then you take that result and you download it to your phone. And then it then utilizes that data to configure the AirPod Pro 2. That was free. And then I downloaded those results to my iPhone, and I'll share that with you in a few moments. And then I configured the AirPod Pro as hearing aids. I purchased an Oraltech BT5 Bluetooth adapter. I did some research on this. It cost me $78 at a place called Micro Center. You can do it online, which I'll share with you in a few moments. And I connected it to the optical output of my Sony big screen TV. And then I paired my AirPod Pro and my Bose headset to the Oraltech BT5. And the listening through both of those transducers is impeccable. So let me kind of go through that with you. So I configured the AirPod Pro 2 as hearing aids <clears throat> after I took the mini hearing test through the AirPod Pro. And it's very, very simple to do. And it takes about 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> and my results with that were virtually identical to the results I got with my hearing test in a sound booth, except my hearing levels at 250 and 500 were elevated slightly. They were, they were poorer than what they were in the sound booth. I purchased a bilateral set of AirPod Pro 2 for $180. And then I purchased the Oratec BT5 for $78. It's now $49.74 on Amazon. At the time, I didn't know about that. So if you put it all together, it cost me $258 for the AirPod Pro and for the adapter. And then here, I just got this two days ago. This is now the same thing is $49.74. I paid 78. What kind of an idiot am I? I could have done this much cheaper. So if you want to know anything about the YouTube is like everything. I mean, I, I had my, my son-in-law's car and I wanted to change the oil. I was underneath the car for like an hour and I could not find the air filter. I went to YouTube, 
to change the oil on his car and showed me in a video where it was. I went into the car and there it was. I mean, you can put anything into YouTube and it's there. So I just Googled mini hearing test and this came up and I downloaded the mini uh, test to my iPhone. I took the test. And interestingly enough, a recent article from uh, Johns Hopkins showed that the results with the mini test on the uh, app is equivalent to the same test done inside of a sound booth. And in an N of one, me, that was exactly what happened to me with the, with the exception of about a 10 dB elevation of thresholds at 250 and 500 Hertz. And that's what my, that's what my test came out with, with the, with the mini AirPod, with the mini test. And that's what it looks like on my iPhone. I just simply switched the results over from that app to my, uh, my phone, and that now is in my hearing part of my my health app on, on my phone, and that's what was used to configure the AirPod Pro. Now, if you don't want to do the mini app, I put this here for you, because you can take a picture of your paper audiogram, and then send it to your phone as a file, and this particular uh, website. We'll show you step by step by step how to take your hearing results and download it to your iPhone, just like the mini app. Only now you're doing it in more steps with a with with a series of steps. And so that's what that is. This is just simply to share with you how you could take your results you got in a hearing clinic and download that to your iPhone to use to configure the uh, the AirPod Pro. Now, I did not know how to do this. So what did I do? I went to YouTube and I put into the search box, configure AirPod Pro 2 as hearing aids. And a slew of videos came up. And I just simply watched the videos for a half hour and had my phone, had the AirPod Pro. And I figured, how do I take my AirPod Pros and configure as a hearing aid as opposed to a listening device to listening to music or whatever it might be. And then I didn't know how to configure the uh, the transmitter. And so I went to YouTube and I put in the name of the transmitter and these two guys came up. And I got to tell you, the guy on top is a little dull. I mean, it, it, he gets the job done, <laughs> but he's not as entertaining as the guy at the bottom. So if you got, and you, and there are other ones as well. The point I'm making is you can watch either one of these two videos and very quickly figure out how to pair your, your transmitter to your TV and then pair your hearing aids to the, uh, the, to the transmitter. And it took me maybe an hour because I had to go through and, and do all these steps. 